Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is a message for you to remind you that you have all of the answers to all of the questions and you have all of the solutions to all of the problems in your life. It may not seem so, but you do. And if you're in that state where, you know, you've been looking for a sign or trying to figure things out or you're at a point in your life where you're unhappy, you're trying to make a transition and you're trying to uh, improve your life and have things, uh, you know, just be better. Your circumstances, whether it's your health, your financial situation, your relationships, whether it's with friends and family or your romantic relationship, your love life, or if it's just a change in career, your vacation, uh, something professional. And you're just kind of in that space where you want to make a change you want to move on from where you're currently at and elevate your life make things better improve your circumstances but you just feel maybe confused or overwhelmed and you're wondering you know where do i start how do i you know make this stuff happen like why am i feeling like this i know something isn't right and i've had enough i just want to make a change if this is you and you identify with that uh, statement and description then this is why i'm making this video so it's for you and again, the purpose of this video, the intention is just to remind you that you have all the answers, but they may not seem clear to you or you may not be aware of them because you're overwhelmed with emotion, you're overwhelmed with thoughts and expectations and things like this. So how do we create some clarity? How do we create clarity in our lives? Well, the first thing we need to do in order to create clarity is to let things settle down. And what you need to settle down is you need to settle down your heart you need to settle down your mind. By settling down your heart, you're calming your emotions. By settling down your mind, all the thoughts, you're slowing down your thought patterns, you're able to see things more clearly. The analogy that I'll use is, you know, if you go in the ocean or in a body of water, a lake or river or something like that, sometimes when you step in there, the first thing, the water's all nice and you step in there, all of a sudden the dirt, the mud, the sand, whatever, it starts to kick up and now you can no longer see the bottom of the river, the ocean, whatever, because everything's been kicked up. In other words, all the dust is going all over the place. Or just think about a snow globe, right? The snow globe is all shaken up. There's all kinds of crap going on. But when it settles, you can see clearly through everything. So you have to imagine yourself as that snow globe. If you're overwhelmed right now, everything's just all shaken up and you're like, oh shit, what's going on? You feel overwhelmed. A couple of tools uh, in order to create clarity and get the answers and the solutions to the problems and the questions that you have is we have to calm ourselves down and let things settle. And the way that we do that is, well, there's many ways we can do that, but a couple of effective ways that I always advocate for are journaling. If you're super in your head right now and you're overwhelmed, um, you just can't think clearly or you know, meditation just seems overwhelming, it's because there's too much shit going on in your head. So you need to sit down, or what I recommend you do, and you don't need to do anything. I'm not here to tell you what to do. But something that's been effective for me is getting a pen and a piece of paper and just writing all of my thoughts out. No filter, no nothing, no prompt, or you can ask yourself questions if you're you know, trying to find clarity. Write you know, the question at the top and then just start writing the answers to the question. Just whatever comes up, just let it go unfiltered. The reason why is you wanna put the pen to the paper is because all that energy that's in your head, you're putting it onto the paper and you're allowing yourself this feeling of a therapeutic catharsis or physical release, emotional, mental release. And when you put everything on paper, it's just this bleh. <laughs> and it's this huge release. And what you'll find, or at least what I have found, is that when I do that every single time, especially when I'm overwhelmed with thoughts and emotions, it creates the clarity. It gets everything out of my system, of my body, of my mind, and it just puts it there. And I go, okay, cool. And we just are able to take a deep breath for a second, getting it all out. I mean, there's times where I haven't really felt like writing, and all of a sudden I've been writing for like 45 minutes, an hour. I'm just handwritten like 10, 15 pages of just crap, just thoughts, just getting it all out. Because a lot of the times when we start to express ourselves in a cathartic and therapeutic way through journaling, and you start to express these thoughts, maybe the problems or the, you know the, the questions that you have, there's all this extra stuff that comes out that really you couldn't see or think about because all that emotion and energy was was blocking you. So get it out on paper and write, create some clarity, uh, empty your system out a little bit, empty your mind out, empty your heart. A couple other tools that I always uh, advocate for and that have been effective for me is spend some time alone, spend some time alone away from 
uh, other people if you can, even 10, 15 minutes will be good because when we're around other people all the time, um, often we are affected by their energies, um, whether we realize it or not. Just being around someone who's angry, it's not, you can feel their anger, their frustration. It's not cool. Be, and on the other turn, being around someone that's happy, it's nice to be around them because their energy is good, their energy is clear. So it's the same thing. So when you're alone, and especially if you're overwhelmed, you're not around anyone else's or anything else uh, of influence. Get off social media and just sit there and be alone. And a good place to go and do that is just go out in nature, go on a hike, go to a park, go to a beach, a mountain, um, just anywhere outside alone where you can be away from people. And even if it's at a park, right, and there's other people, you can just go sit in the grass or sit on a bench, be by yourself and bring your journal and just start writing and allow that stuff to come out. And again, what, what this will do is when you're alone, the purpose being you're unaffected, you'll be unaffected by or less affected by other thoughts, uh, people's thoughts and things like this. And then the other part of it is uh, when you sit there uh, in your writing, I mean, that's like, you know, two for two, right? You're able to get everything out in alone. You're with your own thoughts. You're with your own emotions. You're with your own feelings. And as you process these feelings through journaling, being alone, being out in nature, again, this is what allows the dust, your, in, your internal you know, combustion, we'll say, the, the turmoil, the internal turmoil, the energy, the frustration, the overwhelm, whatever emotion it is, it allows you to start bringing that energy down. It allows you to settle your internal environment and when the internal environment begins to settle and you begin to become more calm and in more of a relaxed state, it allows you to think clearly. It allows you to see things from a different perspective that you may have not seen before. It's very, very, very powerful to do. Um, so I would recommend being alone, going in nature, writing, and then uh, what I recommend doing is some meditation. And if you're not comfortable with meditation, you're like, um, you know, I, I, you'll hear me say this, I've said it before and I'll say it again, and you'll hear me sure say it in future videos. If you're someone who gets tricked and you're like, I don't have time to meditate, there's a saying, I think it's like a Buddhist or Zen philosophy or something, and you know, the, uh, the man who meditate, can't meditate for 10 minutes is the one that needs to meditate for an hour. So if you don't have time to meditate for 10 minutes and just take 10 minutes for yourself just to sit in silence and be and breathe, Mm, man, you have no idea the uh, just that simple medicine that it's really medicine, um, that ability to connect with yourself and create this calm internal environment. And think about how more effectively the benefit of your in your life of operating from this place of clarity, of calmness and presence. Would you be more effective in your work? Would you be more present with your kids, your family? Would you enjoy the activities that you're doing more rather than running in your mind all day? Uh, and if you're unpracticed in meditation, I mean, there's um, just unlimited resources, especially now with the shift in consciousness about guided meditations, right? I know Headspace is a popular app. Uh, Insight Timer is a popular app on your phone. Just go on YouTube and type in, you know, meditation for anxiety, meditation for relaxation, meditation for sleep. If you have problems sleeping, it's a great thing to do. Just put some headphones in and sit there and lie in your bed and just listen to the meditation and just follow the prompt and they just get you to breathe and relax your system because the breathing is what literally relax, it relaxes. Uh, it relaxes our system, our, our mind, our body, our heart, our internal emotions, all these different things. If you think about it, you know, if you've ever done intense like running or something, you know, or even a hike and you're breathing hard, you're like, you know, you're even that, right? It's like that, it's a different energy rather than Spend some time relaxing, spend some time calming yourself down. This is what will create clarity. So what's the purpose of all this again? Just to remind you is that you have all the answers to all of the questions. You have all of the solutions to all of your own problems. You just need to breathe, relax. You just need to write. You need to create space for yourself internally and externally to get all your thoughts and emotions out. When you do that again, all of a sudden, the answers will start coming to you. The clarity and what you should do will start coming to you. I started listening to uh, 
this podcast and started following this gentleman, someone I resonate with very deeply. His name is Danny Morell. He's got a podcast called The Higher Self Podcast, and he's an ex, you know, real estate, uh, successful real estate business owner. His business is doing over a billion, you know, in sales, and most one of the most successful ones in Southern California, all this stuff. And, um, you know, he kind of had his awakening and realized, like, what am I wearing this Rolex for and all this stuff? But I won't get into his story. Go and check out his podcast, The Higher Self uh, with Danny Morell. I bring that up because yesterday I listened to an episode, and I can't remember the exact episode. I think it was in the 40s. It's like somewhere in the 40s, but he interviews this gentleman and one of his friends. This guy's name is Garen or Garin, yeah, Garin, G A R R A I N. I don't know the gentleman's last name, but Higher Self Podcast, somewhere in the 40s. His name's uh, Garen. You can go check it out. And he's interviewing him. And it, it was interesting. Um, part of the inspiration for this podcast or this uh, video is because I realized as I've been experiencing and reflecting what my own problems are that I know that I have the answers. I just needed to create space and clarity. You know what you're supposed to do. And referring back to that podcast, um, Garen shares uh, his experience. He said he trained to be a samurai for four years. Like black guy from Houston, super wealthy, you know, transcended all these beliefs. He went and trained to be a samurai. And it's funny, he's like, I trained with, you know, to be a samurai and I would ask my master. For four years straight, I trained with him. And every time I would ask him a question, he would take a deep breath and then he would look at me and say, you know what to do. You know what to do. And he never once answered one of Garen's questions. He just said, you know what to do. So it's the same thing for all of us. We really do know what to do. Uh, the opportunity or the challenge for us can often be is if we're so overwhelmed or spinning in our heads or you know feeling all these feelings or emotions or you've got so many tasks on your mind and your head's just full of all this stuff, we don't often give ourselves again, the space and the time to connect with our own intuition that we know what's best for us. As a matter of fact, there's no one else that knows better than what's, what's best for you than you. Um, it, it's funny, you know, I, I always think of that when I'm coaching people too, is that my guide as a coach is not to tell you what to do. Sure, there's people and advice is helpful. Advice is helpful. There's no doubt about it. But sometimes we need to connect with ourselves and we do know what to do. And that's about learning to trust yourself and your own intuition as you develop this. It's like a muscle. It's like working out. When you develop that intuition and you practice giving yourself space mentally and emotionally, whether it's writing, meditation, going outside, being alone, whatever works for you. There's many other ways too. I'm just sharing what's worked for me. All of a sudden, again, you'll connect with your own intuition. You'll connect with you know, the uh, inner wisdom that every single person has. And no matter who you talk to, sure, it might be helpful to talk to other people, but again, man, a lot of the time when you talk to other people, especially if they're unhealed and not um, comfortable or uh, you know, in a place where they can just hold space and listen to you, then all of a sudden you're just taking on their energy, their trauma, their thoughts and beliefs and behaviors. And you don't want that because they don't know what's best for you. No one knows what's best for you except for you. No one knows what you want more than you. It's you. So again, take time to just clear space, connect with yourself and to take this message to heart that you have all of the answers to all the questions that you have, you know how to best approach things. It's you, you know what you need to change in your life. You know that, you know, if you wanna get in shape, you know what to do, man. If you wanna, you know, overcome this anxiety, you know what to do. You just gotta connect with yourself and give yourself space for the answers to come. And then, of course, you've got to implement whatever knowledge or wisdom comes through from your higher self, so. Hope this was helpful and it resonated with you today. Connect with your inner wisdom and create space because you know what you're supposed to do. You have the answers to the questions that you're asking. You have the solutions to the problems that are presenting themselves in your life because it's your life and they're your problems. So guess who has the solutions? You have the solutions. And then you, when you start to do this regularly, you'll begin to become empowered and develop this level of self-confidence and belief that you know how to solve these things. You know how to take care of them. So. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I mean, email, all that good stuff. 
Uh, the intention of this channel is to share these messages in order to help people um, create clarity and a better life and you know better health and whatever they want in their lives. <clears throat> and the best way to do that is by pushing all the buttons on YouTube, all the comments and subscribing and stuff so I can get out in the algorithm. So uh, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, you have an amazing rest of your day. Nothing but love and light to you and yours. And we'll see you next time. Peace.